Car sounds. Yeah. Car auctions. Oh man. That's not my mouse. That's a pretend mouse. Don't pretend to be me. Oh damn, look at Mr. Big Money over here. <laughs> it's like the guy that normally walks you in on like a and this is where the murders took place. In the haunted mansion, but he's like, check out this, this car. He's all like hobbling with a, a hand lantern. <laughs> oh, that's great. That's great. All right, so this is Car Mechanic Simulator 2018, as requested by Patreon supporter LP. Uh, this is an elaborate little intro, isn't it? I've seemingly been on like a list or something because I have been not only was not only was I emailed a copy of this game I was emailed like five or six DLC packs for this game All of which are lost on me because I am not a car person, but they're in here now Kudos. This is the most elaborate cutscene I've ever seen on any game that has simulator in the title. <laughs> Usually I get dumped onto a janky looking title screen and then the game maybe crashes when I hit start and then we awkwardly physics around like a tractor or something for like two hours while we slow- oh, the logo changed color. <laughs> while we slowly like harvest or something. We're just getting right in, huh? That seemed to be the trailer of the game, though. It listed the consoles that it's on. It said Xbox One and PS4 and stuff. You don't usually see that in-game. Oh, it's playing again. Okay. Here we go. Uh, this will either be very boring or very embarrassing. Or both. Boring in that sometimes these simulators start with uh, an incredibly long series of tutorials, but uh, maybe they'll just let me f embarrass myself right off the bat, because boy do I not know anything about cars. Like anything about cars, except how to not crash them so far, because I've never been in a car crash, and I've driven a lot. Uh, but aside from that, uh, my dad ran a car shop, so that meant I didn't have to learn Anything? <laughs> That's how it works. Let's look, look at deals. Yeah, I've got Mazda, Dodge, Jeep, Plymouth, P Pagini, Pagani, sorry, and Ford. Uh, there's at least two of those I don't even recognize the, the brands of. Uh, let's see if you can guess which ones. <laughs> Help. I don't know how I got in here here there we go that's a good profile name that's <laughs> it's always it's just up there in the corner okay that's gonna be great normal mode with tutorial yes I'm gonna need some information probably please save me help I'm not even exaggerating I'm actually like a little worried like... <laughs> Greeting! Welcome to the Car Mechanic Simulator 2018. See the new, fully unlocked garage and check out the operations of various parts of the workshop. You can finish the tutorial by taking the car for a test drive at any time. Good luck. I'm gonna- oh. Oh. Hi. I'm a first person man. Okay. I didn't actually expect that. I, I almost kind of thought that it might be like we were an abstract uh, menu person, like, I think Kerbal Space Program works? I haven't played that. Repair bench. Give, gives you a chance to repair worn out parts. Alright. This is a repair bench. Cool. I don't have anything to repair right now. Ah! Test path. Allows you to test the car's brakes and suspension. <clears throat> Where is that? Are you the test path? 
Uh, toolbox. Here you can make improvements that you obtain along with reaching higher levels. Ah, spring compressor uses uh, used to compress suspension coil springs. I don't have. I don't really have context for some of the stuff yet, though. Okay. Tire changer slash wheel balancer. He's for mounting a tire on a rim and balancing the assembled wheel. Okay. Toolbox. Where was that thing? So this is the repair table, and then I, I highlighted something else somehow, but I didn't see it. Is it behind this door? Is there something hiding behind this door? Was it you? It is you. The path test is hiding behind the door, and I somehow I must have highlighted it. Okay. There's all the path test in here. That's a big old tube. This is a space I am not used to inhabiting. Okay. Is the tutorial a real tutorial that walks me through something, or does it just tell me what stuff is when I look at it? I don't know if that'll fix my problem or not. Ah! Order. Press the right mouse button to, uh, and select order from the pie menu. Then select the order that you are interested in and accept it. After you accept the selected order, the car will automatically appear in your driveway. When you approach the car, you can use, uh... You can again use the pie menu to view the car card. Like Carfax? Car... Uh... So I use this to order entire... Entire cars? There's no jobs for you right now. Okay. Um... Toolbox. Let's get around. Oil drain. Allows for safe disposal of used motor oil. Fair to use. It might result in additional uh, charges for cleaning oil spills. Uh-huh. Parts warehouse. Allows for storing of parts which you don't currently need. You can expand the, we expand the warehouse area as your inventory grows. Oh, this is going to go poorly for me. I can already tell. I'm already like, I'm not, how do I lose, how do I keep track of all of the, all of this in one go? Allows you to perform various paint jobs. Sure. Oh, I'm not gonna remember all this. Interior detailing, uh, repair and touch up various components in the interior. Yeah, that's, okay, at least when you highlight them, a name pops up. That'll help me when I get completely stuck. Emergency exit is made of wood. That battery charger, it, it, it charges batteries. It's pretty straightforward in that one's case. That's a computer, you use it to troll people online and be toxic and whatnot. Hooray, another computer, you can, you can dual box. Ooh, okay, we have a bunch of shops in here. Is that just a real website, I wonder? That's like a really, that's an authentically sloppy looking uh, URL. Like the kind of one you get when it's like extrapolating out like the particular hierarchy that got you where you are and stuff. Ah, welder. Perform repairs and bodywork components which cannot be removed from the car. Okay. I think that's as much as we're gonna get. Is that what the, is that what this game thinks tutorial means? Engine crane used to remove an entire engine from the vehicle. Cool. Uh. Yeah, I think this is genuinely what this game thinks a tutorial is. It is it just names things? And then you move on. Because it, it's not telling me to do things. Trunk. Okay. I can take the parts off. I can just take the whole... There it goes. There's the whole door is off now. Just take that steering wheel off now. No. Can't take the steering wheel off. I think that this car doesn't need trunks or doors. Can I take the window out specifically? I can. And the mirror? There's so many moving parts. Just take out that entire back seat, no? You don't need wheels. There we go. Let's see how much we can strip you down. I'm a professional, ma'am. I know what I'm doing. Now go f Can you reach up and grab that headlight fluid off that shelf up there? Thank you. All right, we don't need engines. Oh, can't take any of these objects out. We probably need tools for these ones, although I'm not sure how I'm getting these other ones off without tools. I have many questions. Kind of seeing which stuff it'll let me rip out. 
Can I take the battery out without tools? No. We don't need a windshield and a car. What are you, a noob? There we go. Let's just sit down. We'll just drive around for a bit. Or not. Drive the car. Oh, there's a whole map out here, isn't there? Uh, select destination. What can I... So I'm at, the, I'm at the garage. I can pick parking lot. A test track. Which car do you want to take? Uh, the one that's mostly ripped apart. No oil in the engine. Cannot perform this action. All right. Cannot start engine. Cool. Neither of my cars can be taken to the track because they won't drive. No oil in engine. All right. Uh, let's start our first adventure if I can get out of here. Uh, how do I... Is normal mode the get out of car button? Okay, that's what normal that's what normal mode means. Okay. Spring puller. I need the oil. There was an oil thing. I can do this. Uh that's the tire changer. This thing was the oil catcher, wasn't it? Oil drain. I don't need an oil drain though, I need oil at all. Let's see, brake pump. Click to work on part. Alright, uh engine. How you doing? I know what I'm doing here. Definitely. Oh, I'm on the tire now. I don't know how I got... Okay. Uh, just need to give us some oil. The At the... Ah, there we go. The oil plug. Yes. There we go. Oh, cool. It just happened. Just oil happened at me. Uh, how full are we right now? Are we good? Are we good? Need more oil in there? Need some more oil in there? Oh, okay. More than enough is too much. Um, achievement unlocked. That's a strange achievement <laughs> to have. Uh, escape? There we go. Uh, how do I de-oil? Are we good? Car status. Uh, global body condition 14%. Well, that's because I took all the body off, obviously. God, pay attention. Sell car. <laughs> Is an option. All right, let's see if I can ever get this vehicle. Okay, I need to figure out how to leave. Uh, examine mode, part mount, inventory. Examine mode? Oh, that's not what I was going for at all. Uh, escape, escape. There we go. Oh, I just had to escape, hit escape a lot more. Cool. Uh, how are we doing here? All right, let's uh, start the car. We good? I think we're I think we're good. I think we're good. Let's take it to the test track and crash it. Yeah. I, I did it guys. I added oil to my car. That means I've beaten the tutorial and also am now a uh, car god. Yes, hello, I am here to be god of cars. Test track. Used to check the performance of the car. Test the car's steering, suspension, and braking. Cool. Uh oh, W is forward, okay. And space is break, evidently. I'm a good driver. That's a safe thing to do. <laughs> I am probably going too fast. Okay. <laughs> I, it's occurring to me, this might be the first time I've ever driven a car with WASD. <laughs> I'm... There's a lot of default things like, oh yeah, left and right in the joystick, this, uh, here's your handbrake, here's your regular brake, on like, triggers on the controller. This is different. This is different, in part because there's, uh, the keyboard inputs are like, all or nothing. They don't have pressure sensitivity like triggers do. This is safe. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah, we're fine, we're fine. We. That's a good sound to make, right? When you're on the actual racetrack. Test track. Oh boy. We're good. Oh, I was supposed to stop in there. Whoops. I got this. Don't worry. Aha. Start the game. Yeah, I feel like I've learned how to play this game. I did one action and then I drove a bit. So I'm probably like mega car expert now. I'm like the Stephen Hawking of uh, overfilling your oil casket <laughs> and causing problems. <laughs> the important thing is to believe in me. If you believe in me, 
then I'll disappoint you. And, you know, then we have like a, a, a pattern. This is a different shop? I think this is a different shop, actually. I just tried to learn the other shop and you gave me a new shop after the tutorial. That's not nice. What do I do with this? Does this game have a campaign? Like, do I have a... Let's see. Uh, right, uh, the phone is where I'll get jobs, right? Uh, wow, my computer sucks in this universe. I mean, we're in the dark timeline. Okay. Uh, a phone. Found you. Uh, brake problems. Oh, man. Let's take that order. Fix your brakes right up, buddy. By removing them. It's here. Cool. Uh, uh, is it the same job? That's the check the oil one. Let's see, let's deal with this guy first. Okay, so, uh, how do I look at an order? Come on, we beat the tutorial, we can do this. We defeat the entire tutorial, and also my, is my license being crossed out? What is that? Uh, this is your license to specifically not, uh, not practice, as it turns out. Alright, we have an inventory. Cool. Uh, how do I look at my objective? Something about its brakes, right? But can I view it somewhere? Uh, there's not... <laughs> is there not an options menu? Hitting escape just gives you this menu, which has no, no options. Uh, how do I view my current objective and tell whether or not I've done it or not? Shit. Shit, 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 shit. Uh. Oh shit, do I have three minutes to do it? What the fuck? Excuse me? Okay, uh, poor break performance. I thought I already took this order. Or is that a different order? List provided. Where's the list that's provided? How do I look at the list? Is that a different color? That's a different car. That's how much time I have until these cars leave. That one... Uh... That's an orange one. My car's not... Yeah, that's a that must be a different order? Okay. Uh... b b Computer radio. Change station? Ooh! Look at all these options. Uh... Drum and bass, electro hive... User? What's that? House? Ugh. Oh! This is how you get the copyright. Okay. There we go, Kevin McLeod. <laughs> In Comptech music. That's safe. <laughs> Welcome to another Let's Play, Kevin McLeod. You show up a lot, don't you? Okay. <laughs> Alright. Fucking. Okay, that's the upgrade shit. Uh, okay, your brakes need to be worked on. Let's just find the brakes in the car. There we go. I just. I know how to find brakes. It's easy. It's easy. They're in the thing with the stuff. The, all right. So for the record, yes, we very much did the no tutorial embarrass me immediately t thing of the two options I said. Uh, it's definitely where we're going, where I have to like just wing it on not knowing how cars work. Uh, hi, brake servo. Uh, focus on you, I guess. I'm focusing on you now. Uh, examine mode. Are you in a- are you in a good shape, Mr. Mr. Brake Servo? Can be examined on a test path. On a test path. Okay, I know what a test path is. Uh, isn't it like a whole separate room, though? Tire changer, wheel balancer, toolbox. Um... Um... I don't... Hopefully the person who chose this game was doing it as, as like a prank and not because they hoped I would genuinely nail it and give them an, uh, an authentic experience of this game. Because uh, one of those people is very disappointed and one of those people is uh, having a fucking blast. It's really like Schrodinger's audience member because I don't have the context for what they were hoping for. Um, how do I get to the test path? I don't... I had a test path last time, but they gave me a different garage this time? Which, why did the tutorial... Uh... Test track. That's not a test path. Test path was like a little room where you do the things. I'm in the garage. The speed track, parking... What's a... Wh motherfucker. Where is the How do I get to the test path? Oh, exit to parking. That's not what I'm trying to do. Toolbox. 
wheel balancer. This is a very different tone of music now, isn't it? Amazing grace, how sweet the sound. Are you a test path? Car lift. Should I put it in the car lift if I want to get to its brakes? I don't... Uh... <laughs> uh, uh. Oh Jesus, I am unprepared for this. Okay, uh, everything's fine. Everything's fine. I'll just put you in the car lift. How do I put you in the car lift? Do I just click use? Um, put you down. Everything's fine. Close. Clo How do I close the door? Okay, uh, start the car. Okay, start the car. Are you working or not? Drive the car. Here. Drive it. I just want to drive it to the, the car lift. Please. I can't. I can't drive the car. Alright, we're off to a good start here. Alright. Oh, now the, I think the car's on now. Are you on now? I think I can hear you being on now. Is there, is there a body in the trunk? Croatia? Okay. Unexpected. Hi. Well, there's no smoking in here until I GTA this car and it starts smoking because that's how health works in video games on cars. Yeah, there's a car left over here, but you're over here. And apparently I can't figure out how to drive a car. This is literally harder than real life where I would be equally uh, confused and the consequences would be more expensive. But at least I could fucking drive the car because I know how to do that in real life. It's fine. It's fine. Engine stand. I don't... <laughs> <laughs> I don't I haven't done anything in this entire video oh okay it really is a simulator huh how do I I just try to take you off and look at you I guess for that I've got the brake servo to brake pump? No. Nope. Okay. This, there's a should be a repair surface. Where's my repair table? That was in the last. Why? Where's the repair table? I had a repair table before. Why? Why does the tutorial take place in a different shop? Why do they put you in a different shop after the tutorial? So that you don't have any of the things you just learned about, even if you only learned them by name. At least I knew that there was a repair shop. There was a repair surface, and it was like, okay, cool, I can use it to repair something. I just took out the servo. It's the only thing that's, it's called the brake thing. Let's see. That, that, that. Where is the brake pump? That's, yeah, that's, that's the thing I just took off, right? Yeah. So it's just like blank now, which is trippy. That's the only brake element I can access from here, right? So I would just want to take it to like the the table where you can work on it and then we'll try to repair it, right? That would be the thing I would be smart to do. Why do I have so many copies of the of the thing that gives, lets my lets me do my skill tree? There's one over there and there's one over there. There's like three things that give me access to my skill tree, but like no things that help me work on a part at a car shop. I feel like I've looked at every surface around here. I, uh... This is not how tutorials work, usually. Oh no. Ooh. Got some concrete problems in this shop. Who's gonna look into those? Tire changer, wheel balancer, toolbox, which is the same one. And also this one. Do they just think that cosmetically there should be a lot of toolboxes around? So they just filled the place with them, even though they all do the same thing in the universe? Uh... I don't think I'm going to finish one objective in this video. I... The game has left me completely hanging. And I'm just... Gonna hang out and be sad now. Uh... What? I had a whole- I don't- I don't understand. Let's go to parking. That sounds like fun.
I don't... <laughs> Let's just go look at a new location and be lost there. I mean, I can't be that lost. It's a parking lot. Yeah, they... I don't... They established an entire table where you can... Where you can repair stuff. And then they didn't give it to me when the tutorial is over. They're like, here's a new place. It doesn't have that. Fuck you. <laughs> nice knowing you. This place is very empty, so I guess this would be populated by me doing things. Uh, can't go past the, the traffic cones. Clean up your floors! There's like a whole city outside. Can I jump? Nope. Yeah, we got a city outside. That's about it. And... Now do I know how to leave here? Return to garage. Okay. Hmm. I think there's only really one thing left to do. Which is to portray the customer's trust and just fucking ram that car into a wall. <laughs> Cause uh... I... <laughs> I'm completely useless. I can't even do one thing. I didn't- th in my worst nightmares, I never imagined this would go this poorly. Where I literally don't do... a thing. <laughs> I'm like, oh man, I'm gonna really fumble around like a jackass, like that- like the shopkeeper simulator when that happened. But no, this one was like- this one almost had like negative tutorial. The if you want to sell? No, I don't want to sell it. I want to repair it. How do I repair it? Condition... Yeah, it has a condition of 73%. How do I make it not 73%? The only option here is sell. What the fuck? I don't... I think that's because I'm supposed to go to the, the work table to work on it, but I, I didn't get one. They didn't give me one. How do I get a work table? How do I not have a work table? How do I have three toolboxes but not a, t a work table? The place where you would use the tools. How is that a thing? Exactly. Let's go on the computer. Uh, interior. Body shop. These are all for cars. These are all for cars, but how do I upgrade my shop? Um, yeah, these are all for cars. No, I don't need car stuff. I need... I need the ability to, uh... Oh, Jesus. I guess I could order a new brake thing instead of fixing it or anything? Oh, Jesus. I don't know what any of these things are. Let's compare. It's a brake servo. 73% quality. Okay. Oops, I sold it. I... That was a mistake. <laughs> uh, hey, a brake servo. Boom. There we go. Is that in my inventory now? There we go. I'll just buy a new one and slap it in there. Fuck it. Fuck it. I got this. I am a good worker who does smart thing. No, do not sell it. How do I... Uh. Uh. Inventory. Why would I go to that screen via the right click if I wanted to sell the objects? Obviously you want to use the objects, are you insane? Uh, part mount. Okay, uh, hold. Yes. I did it! I, I fixed the- I fixed the car. Cool. Uh... Cool. You can take it home now. Um... You can take- you can take it home now. What happens if I do this? Make some space near the main gates so the car can park there. I would love to, but I can't seem to move the car. I could probably move it to the parking lot? You know what? This is already a- this is already a shit show anyway. Let's just- Let's just, uh... Drive that car to the racetrack. There we go. Oh yeah. Here we go. This will will just wipe the memory of what of what has happened so far by doing this here. I uh I suggest making a tutorial. 
like even like any tutorial that was not a tutorial or if you have a tutorial uh make it not secret <laughs> if you have if you secretly have a whole real tutorial i suggest making it not a secret level you have to unlock by uh hitting your head on the cliffs of deborah but instead uh just give it to the player when they click on tutorial because uh i have no idea that was not that just that was that gave me nothing woo i'm good driver do these have physics? Oh, they don't have physics. Oh, did I just pin myself? I can do- I can get out of this. There we go. There we go. Full speed ahead, number one. And fence. Oof. That's a hard collision, and that- <laughs> It did not buckle even a little bit. That was all on me. It got me. Well, I technically replaced part of the brakes. I think I probably had to find the brake pads and also inspect those and things like that. But I'd have to probably, like, raise the vehicle or something in order to do that. You might be able to get under the vehicle if you were a normal human, but as a video game character, I probably have to raise the car. Either way. Uh... Yeah, I don't know, man. Usually you have, like, a... a slightly more hands-on introduction where you... get a series of introductory missions where you do kind of basic tasks to learn how to play the game. In today's mission, we're going to replace the engine block. You gotta rip it out of it with this thing and then put the new one in. And, like, here's how you order a part. And, like, stuff like that. This one's, like... I think this one expects you to either be a car fanatic, which, admittedly, not wrong <laughs> about your target audience, probably, or they, uh, they probably expect you to have played the previous game or something? I don't know, it has the year in its title, so I assume that there was a, a 2017, and maybe even a 2016, I don't know. But, uh... As somebody who just got a key for it one day, I was like, and, and admittedly is not the target audience, I... Uh, this is incompatible. I can't do it. I tried. I could try harder, but I could also move on. Anyway, guys, this has been Car Mechanic Simulator 2018. Uh, this video is going on my permanent record. <laughs> uh, thanks for watching, like always. Thanks to the developers for requesting the game. If you want to check out this game and actually play it, unlike me, uh, you can check it, You can check out the link in the description to the Steam page. And uh, thanks for LP for requesting this game. I'll see you all next time. This is, I'm a good, oh, I'm a good driver. I'm trying to spin, but it's not really, it's not really, it's not really coming out. It's not really working out. Yay.